What's up guys, Manny Carrera, your real estate resource, and this is episode number nine of Whiskey Wednesday podcast sessions, where we sit with entrepreneurs, influencers, movers, and shakers over a glass of some fine whiskey. Today, we're gonna be drunking, drunking, <laughs> drinking 10 cup American whiskey. And I'm gonna be joined by my guest. This gentleman is an entrepreneur, and he is also a digital and traditional artist. Andreas Frank, congratulations on making it to episode number nine, and thanks for being on, brother. Awesome. Well, thank you. Uh, cheers to you. Cheers to how's you. Your, how's your whiskey? It is delicious. Delicious. <laughs> so, Andreas doesn't drink, right? You tell me you don't drink too much. Not too much. No. Hard but <laughs> after after some time, how do you what do you think about the whiskey? It's really smooth. Yeah. Actually, it's. I remember the last one I had years ago got me. Right, right when I sipped, I was just like, oh, kind of like lemon face. But <laughs> really, really. Yeah, but this one's really, really smooth, and honestly, I like it. I might actually awesome get some awesome. in the future. <laughs> yeah, this one they actually. Um, so uh, we're over here at Vitolas. This is actually headquarters for Whiskey Wednesday podcast, and uh, they featured this last week. Uh, so I asked them about it, and here we are drinking it. So cool, man! Excited to have you on the show. I know, um, you know the the uh, the marketing team that that referred me over to, over to you told me a little bit about you. I mean, they're they're really telling me a lot about you and, and really kind of you know kind of on their knees right now, like <laughs> praising you. Um, I know that you have a lot going on. So let's start off by you telling us a little bit about yourself um, and what you have going on right now. Well, awesome, awesome. Yeah, definitely. Um, as you can know, or as you guys know that I have done a whole lot with my life. I am 26 years old. Um, yeah, 26 is not crazy. <laughs> like I'm still very young, but also approaching the 30s. So <laughs> that's, that's true. The coming. So <laughs> the 30, 30s, huh? <laughs> yeah, but um, a little closer than you are. So <laughs> you just made me think about life. <laughs> just I know, kidding. just all pondering. I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> <a little> bitch. <laughs> but. Um, I uh, essentially all lump sum. I am a freelancing artist. Uh, I do traditional and digital artwork. I do a lot of graphic design for different businesses, a, do, uh, a lot of different um, local marketing teams. Um, I also own a uh, artist subscription box that ships all over the world, and essentially helps artists get back into drawing. This um, is insane. <laughs> We're gonna talk a little bit about that concept. That's insane. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And, um, when I first started as an artist, um, man, it had to have been like, when I, I guess you could say my first strokes as an artist is when I uh, drew on my grandparents' uh, wall growing up, you know? <laughs> like, oh, I was shit. like a little boy. With some crayon? Yeah. <laughs> did, you get, did you get a spanking? Oh, no. My mom was like, Andreas, <laughs> Andreas, it's beautiful. She's <laughs> <laughs> like a bunch of lines. <laughs> Leave it. <laughs> Don't fix it. Leave it. <laughs> no, but. Um, uh, I've done so much, I guess, different types of projects as far as like freelancing, different major projects. Um, I worked as a computer technician here locally for the El Paso Electric Company. I've done simple jobs as such as uh, working for Kmart, you know, as a the sales rep for the electronics department. Um, I've been the voice or the uh, the guy you call at Dish Network. <laughs> Um, the voice of dish. Yeah, the voice of dish, basically, <laughs> and where you're like, where's my bill or whatever. <laughs> uh, I was I'm trying to where's my bill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, yeah, I was, I was a customer service rep over there. I did a lot of technician work um, for them and also helped train certain agents. Um, I also uh, was a worked with kids and also at Peter Piper as a game room technician. Um, I started my own computer business. It's the list just continues going on and on and on. So, <laughs> so you, you dabble in a little bit of everything when it comes down to the digital world, as well as the you know, like we said, traditional. Yeah. Um, you know, you have an artist since you were little at grandma's house. You've been an artist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Honestly, it's it's always something that's kind of just gravitated toward me. Awesome. So it's so so one of your big, biggest projects. I mean, that I see right now that that's currently active is is your your business right inspire me create yeah um and and i think the concept is just so freaking and it's, it's awesome because you see a lot of concepts like that with different brands and different um you know businesses yeah but you never see it with something 
that would kind of inspire you to get creative. Yeah. You know, and, and I really like what you're doing. So kind of tell us a little bit about that. What what is Inspire Me Create and where did the concept come from? Um, inspire Me Create is a box that allows artists to get back into drawing. Um, the whole mission of the box is to approach Creative Block in through several different outlets. Um, it gives you different brainstorming activities, it gives you different types of challenges, drawing prompts, um, it gives you a story prompt that you can read, visualize, and then you can also uh, just draw off what you visualize from that um, story prompt. It gives you weekly drawing, um, weekly uh, warm-ups, drawing warm-ups, um, focusing on different like abstract techniques, stylization techniques, um, and just, I guess you could say, like just several different types of techniques every single month. Um, Inspire Me Create started off in a apartment bedroom. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah. Your apartment? It yeah, it was yeah. my apartment. <laughs> Maybe you're on the couch or... Yeah, like it, it's, it was very, very interesting because um, I remember before coming up with Inspire Me Create, I always wanted to, because uh, I was doing, I was more in the service industry as far as doing graphic design for different clients. Right. Um, different type of vine celebrities or you know different uh, really things like that yeah <laughs> that's awesome what and, kind of what kind of celebrities were reaching out to you uh, one of them was Sam Pepper uh, he's a youtuber um, he now he's ventured onto his uh, another style of path uh, with YouTubing mm -hmm. but I remember I was helping him with uh, kind of like video game artwork and that oh, way he could cool. play video games and gameplay stuff um, another one was Vincent Marcus. Uh, he was over here. He he was born and raised here in El Paso, and then he eventually moved out to California and all that. Um, and these are all people that had YouTube. Oh yeah. YouTube, YouTube. Um, I guess kind of following the big followings and things like that. Yeah, they they were very well known as um, I guess you could say in the social world, specifically in Vine, because that's how I essentially saw them, and then eventually I, somehow the stars aligned and I got to contact that's them. That's awesome. Got to talk with them and all that stuff. That's cool. <laughs> that's cool. So you worked with a little bit of everybody, not just clients here in El Paso, but oh yeah, that's, that's insane. Yeah, I've worked with many, many clients all over the world, over in Australia, over in Britain, over just everywhere. So, <laughs> really? so you definitely are going to be helping us. Welcome to the team. <laughs> that's cool. So, so you know, where where does the concept for Inspire Me Create come from? Where where does that come from? So. Through the years of uh, essentially job switching, mm -hmm. um, from going to computer uh, repair to customer service to just several different outlets, I I always found myself going into drawing heavily and then getting out of drawing. Okay. Um, I, I I struggled with a lot of creative block myself. Like some days I just or actually even months I'll just be depressed. I was like, oh, I'm not a good artist. I don't know how to draw. And even though I knew how to draw. I just, you know, didn't either keep up with the daily habit. Um, right. Sometimes certain techniques would become so boring to me. Um, there used to be, or and there still is, but they kind of repeat, uh, repeat it over and over. Uh, there's some online generators that you can look up and it'll be like, oh, barbarian wearing uh, the skulls of their enemies or something like that. And right. You have to draw it, you know. But those um, prompt generators essentially get old fast and I just found myself not keeping up with the daily drawing habit just because I would get either bored or my own. So was there, is there a routine <laughs> that you would kind of follow? You would kind of, just to get your mind going every single day, like draw something and start sketching up? Yeah, um, I remember when I first started creating um, my artist account, which is called Pixel Frank, um, I, just to get me to draw something, I used to make these uh, Fortune of the Days. Okay. And it would be uh, essentially, uh, what's the word? Um, I'm thinking of caricature, but it's not caricature. It's uh, kind of like signature um, signage. And like I would make it you know, certain fonts in different ways. Okay. And then. Calligraphy. Um, yeah, calligraphy. there we go. Calligraphy. I don't know what. <laughs> Sorry, we have a, a female behind the camera. The brains in the room <laughs> full of men. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> But um, I would, uh, at the time, I would also go to a lot of uh, Chinese restaurants, too. Okay. So I would be collecting the fortune cookies and everything. And then I remember uh, telling my friends, I was like, oh, wouldn't that be cool if that was a drawing, like, based off of that uh, fortune cookie? So I had a whole pile of them, and that's how I essentially just started drawing, like, 
getting a little fortune cookie, calling it fortune of the day, and just drawing something, usually at night or early in the morning, and then going in my backyard and just taking a picture uh, next to dirt or, you know, next to uh, some bricks to make it look a little more artsy in my schedule. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. And this was your morning, every every morning you were doing this? Yeah. Um, during that so, time. So I, you would kind of get into a little slumps, creative slumps, I guess. Yeah. And kind of fall off of that too, right? Yeah. Um, to help me get out of those creative slumps, I always had to essentially hype myself up and also start looking into different artists to uh, try to find different um, inspiration. Mm -hmm. So uh, one of them would be like, let's say, Gabriel Piccolo, which I even got to meet thanks to Inspire Me Great. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, I got to meet him. Did he order or? or? No, I flew over to, because he was in a, a uh, in between flights. Okay. Um, he was doing another uh, coloring book signature thing over in Oregon. And I flew, I, I believe it was Austin. Yeah, it was in Austin. Um, in between flights and basically got to meet him, handed him the crate, got to say hi to him and everything. And then, you know, he took off to Brazil. That's insane. That's insane. <laughs> so it was a... Uh, you know, that's crazy that you say that. Like, I think it's... Everybody kind of deals with that creative slump. I do too. Even though I'm not an artist per se, like I can't draw for shit. Yeah. I'll probably stick figure it out if I have to. <laughs> yeah. But... Um, you know, even when it comes down to my own personal marketing on story, yeah, you know, because um, the Sosa has helped me a lot with my posts on on my regular Instagram profiles and stuff like that and, and Facebook. But when it comes down to story, that's my kind of creative duty, you know. Yeah. And there's days where I'm like, I'm fucking on it, you know. Like I fucking wake up and I'm like. I'm a, I'm fucking like, who, who's a good director? <laughs> Spielberg type shit. Like, I know what I'm uh, like. People are gonna fucking understand this fucking story that I have in my head. Yeah. And then there's days where I wake up and I'm like, I don't know what the hell to post. I'm like walking around, taking pictures of random shit. Like, is this artsy? Is this artsy? Can people see the art behind it? You know? Yeah. So, there are days too where I feel like, I can't. I don't know what the hell to post. Yeah. But there's days where I'm like. You know, I, I do know what to post, and I think when I'm in that slump too, I do kind of look at how I kind of outsource to other people and kind of just get yeah. inspired. You know, other realtors, not necessarily from El Paso, but um, out of state, even out of the country. Like, what are they doing? Yeah. Um, not even necessarily realtors, just anybody. You know, anybody making a little splash. Um, how can I get creative? To yeah. It's kind of what you do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. So what kind of clientele are you getting right now? You, you're talking about, you know, this guy that you just met in an airplane, hopped on a plane <laughs> to Brazil. Um, what kind of clientele are you getting right now with Inspire Me? So uh, Inspire Me Create focuses more on uh, artists from the ages 12 all the way to 30 and up or, you know, what, whichever age. Um, the, re the reason why I say 11 is just because it's primarily the reading level. Okay. Um, because there is this one is a lot of reading intensive. Even though there's also a lot of visuals involved inside each booklet, which I'll, I'll show you pretty soon. Yeah, that's our <laughs> that's our next thing. <laughs> We're about to open this box. It's great. <laughs> but um, it's primarily artists who are beginners all the way to intermediate. Um, ones who let's say it could be a child who didn't know how to draw at all and is just kind of starting and learning how to draw and they want to get this constant inspiration so that way whenever they're asking themselves or hey what should I draw today right. you look at this booklet and you go through it and you're like oh that's what I should draw today right. that is this a month. monthly subscription or is this a one to month to month right? yeah it's month cool. to month so. <laughs> um, and then even it goes to let's say parents like myself um, ones who didn't get to you know life just gets in the way sometimes you just have so many projects or you know, you're going to a different venture or so. Um, you love drawing, but you just can't find yourself to draw or don't know what to draw, or, right. you know, all that stuff. So um, the, crate, uh, the crate focuses on just getting you into drawing no matter if you only have five minutes out of the day or an hour, 10 So there's hours. a lot of individual activities that you can do, five minutes, some that'll take a little longer. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty dope, that's pretty dope. Especially for somebody that's really busy but still wants to have that creative outlet for the day, you know? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, so. <laughs> and uh, are, these all, are all these people in the U.S. or where are they? Because obviously you have one guy 
<laughs> uh, going all across the world. Where are your clients from? Um, they're all over the world. Um, I think the only place the only place that comes to mind is Africa that we don't have uh, that and nobody's signed up at least um, but everywhere we went from uh, different parts of Asia different parts um, even over in Australia Europe it's awesome. yeah it's 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 pretty cool over in Canada um, in Mexico and the logistics of it all is pretty interesting because some members let's say in Mexico uh, due to the um, the customs uh, the mailing customs uh, they tend to get their uh, boxes a whole month late like versus oh, yeah versus because of customs yeah just because oh, of yeah. customs because sometimes they'll individually go in through the whole box they do the whole packet <laughs> <laughs> yeah i know they, they do all the out. activities like okay it's your turn <laughs> they're like cool we enjoyed it how would you like it <laughs> that's insane yeah it's it, it's it getting pictures of uh, clients or not clients uh, i don't even want to call them clients they're members they're customers um they're actually a part of like the family since we're a family business um, I really try to reach out and hope that it makes a big impact in each individual artist's lives right. you know um, and just getting those photos of just somebody taking a picture of um, their crate and like the hashtag Mos uh, Moscow you know um, some uh, uh, young I was gonna say kids but yeah uh, some young kids will post over in New York uh, over in California um, even a couple here in El Paso will. That's awesome. So it, it's it's very heartwarming getting those, and I'm like, wow, I'm actually making a difference in this world. Right, right. You know, all that, over, all over the place. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Man. And you don't even it, it's cool because you don't even get to meet these people, but they still you're still impacting them. Yeah. In a big way, you know, and it's just helping them get creative. Yeah, it's uh, that's that's really cool. So you said it's a family business. Who else is who else is behind the scenes with you? So um, it's me, my girlfriend, and my stepdaughter. Awesome. Um, these were the primarily primary forces be, behind Inspire Me Create. Um, I also have a and also my sister. I should not forget about that because she's the one who helps whoa, whoa. me. I know. I'm sorry. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> she's gonna look at this and she's like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but um, she uh, she helps me write the stories, and she's very very talented with her stories. Uh, really. Because when we're doing story prompts, I want it to that way. I want to be focused on you being able to read it and visualize it specifically. Right. So instead of um, something, you know, you read it and you're like, I got the message of the story, but I couldn't visualize it. But at the same uh, versus our stories will be like, okay, he traveled down this, um, traveled along with this uh, car. You could feel the wind blasting um, past you, uh, the radio turned up, you hear the sirens. Very start, descriptive. Yeah, yeah right. you, um, you, you hear every, or you feel everything and you're able to visualize it and you're like, oh, I can picture exactly what's happening. Right, right. Um, and she does a outstanding job doing that. So. <laughs> Shout out to you, what's her name? Uh, Jacqueline, or I'll just say Jacqueline, her first name. <laughs> and then, Jacqueline. Um, <laughs> Shout out to Jacqueline, <laughs> inspire me, Crate. <laughs> Even though he almost forgot you. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Even though he almost forgot to mention you. <laughs> You're the brains behind this. <laughs> no, that's awesome. Just... <laughs> that's awesome. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, Jacqueline. But, um, but cool, I'm really excited to see what's inside one of these boxes. So, can we pretend it's Christmas? Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, we're going to open one of these boxes. Uh, one of these crates. I'm sorry. I, I'm calling it boxes. Oh, it's, don't worry. It's, it's called it... a crate. Crate. <laughs> Uh, so this is standard shipping. If I ordered it, this is how it would get here. The only difference is that we obviously also, packaged. Yeah, that. it's also um, the reason why we bubble wrap it twice. So this is the first layer of bubble wrap, and then we do it in uh, regular poly mail, poly mailers with bubble wrap. Okay. Um, we do that because when they ship all over the world, uh, customs is not gentle. You, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. So, um, so growing your online business, uh, what advice would you have for somebody that is starting an online business compared to? maybe traditional since you have experience in both um, if somebody could mm -hmm. just go online instead of traditional is that something that you suggest doing or is that kind of a base by base it definitely depends on the <coughs> industry um, yeah it definitely depends on each industry so uh, let's say with the subscription box service um, definitely try to have a, an amount of money to help you start off like to buy the supplies up front that way it helps you alleviate a lot of the costs right. um, 
but I would recommend, uh, I personally recommend starting an online business. You don't have to, the only thing you have to really worry about is just like website design, but thankfully like Wix or Squarespace help you a whole lot, or even Shopify, they help you a whole lot. Um, <coughs> learn a little bit about, about marketing, uh, that way you can, it's kind of how you just go to the people in the street, they're like, hey, what do you think of this? Or just simple advertising. Yeah, yeah. Marketing will be giving you all that stuff. So. Awesome. <laughs> This guy's laugh is super dope. <laughs> cool, man. So, um, we're about to open up Inspire Be Create. So, this is an actual package that you would receive if you were subscribed yeah. um, to Inspire Me Create. So, again, you know, this is for artists, right? Ages, what um, ages? 11 and basically up. It's the way you can think of it, and I have a lot of people tell me, like, it's basically art school in a box. Art that's school cool. in a box. Yeah. So that's like kind of for 101, you know, somebody that doesn't know. So this is for anybody, intermediate, beginner, uh, yeah. advanced, Picasso, uh, whoever, yeah. anybody and everybody. So awesome. So let's go ahead and open it up. So first of all, uh, you're up, Violet? Cool. Mm -hmm. So um, this is the packaging. It's really, it's, it's in a nice little tight box. Inspire <laughs> Me Crate. You got it? It's cool. Um, it's designed to look like uh, kind of like a book or a sketchbook. Yeah, that's you. what it kind of. Yeah. When, when you walked in and it was packaged, I thought it was, and it actually has the outline of a book. I just noticed that now. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm starting to understand. Okay. Awesome. So let's open this up. So let me put this here. There you guys can see. Yes. It's good right there. Oh fuck this <laughs> now. Okay. Cool. Yeah, so, crazy stunts. So uh, here's the packaging. Really nice. Um, so you have this nice welcome dear artist to inspire me creates May edition So every month is a different box obviously yeah. different edition um, So do you want can I read the, all the whole thing? Oh, go for yeah, it. okay yeah. awesome So many new features are available for you to enjoy and we're excited to see you create our mission with every crate is to give you back is to get you back to drawing Sorry, no, this good. whiskey. <laughs> Whenever you feel cre uh, creative, block stumbling in, or just don't know what to draw, this crate is to is your inspiration solution. Remember to tag us online to join the growing community and get a chance to be featured. Here's what's inside your crate. This is awesome. So you have a community that people are tagging right now. Yeah, uh, everyone does a hashtag inspire me crate. So that's <laughs> sick. we gotta we gotta jump on that tag for the video. So. Cool, so here's what's in your crate. When it comes, you're gonna get a quality art, some quality art supplies, creativity workbook, color me page, sketch me pad, warm me up booklet, that's good. You don't wanna pull those muscles. <laughs> and a featured artist, cool. Excited, share your experience. So, let's open it up. So it comes in this really cool package. You got the quality seal, stamp of approval. Some nice packaging here. Dang it, when it's nicely packaged, I never want to open it. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm not gonna fuck it up. <laughs> Just leave it. <laughs> you didn't want it. <laughs> so, this was obviously. Okay, yeah, I, was like, okay. <laughs> I was like, we just stole some kids' box, but it's under this. It's under this. It's cool. We stole the box. <laughs> Alright, so you got some nice packaging. So, here we got our supplies. So, here we got our art supplies. Mm -hmm. And what comes in your art supplies? We got, uh, let's open this up. So uh, that little tool sheet right underneath the sketch me pad okay. tells you what comes inside. <laughs> cool, so we don't have to open it. So this is what's gonna come inside. We got uh, two fine, fine liner markers. We got a brush pen, a colored fine line pen, and a drawing gel pen. And you show them how to use each one of these. Yeah, in the uh, back it gives you kind of like what it's recommended, um, gives you a little drawing space. This oh. is sick. Yeah. <laughs> this is a great. I'm actually, so I'm a freaking rookie. Like, I'm really bad at drawing, so this would probably be really informative for me, <laughs> for sure. So, we got our Sketch Me Pad. And, well, I'll let you experience <laughs> Sorry, <you> guys. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, YouTube. <laughs> I'm not showing them anything. Okay, so. Oh, don't worry. Yeah, and, and tell us a little bit about each of these things as we're rolling them out. So, Obviously, we got the uh, the card here tells you about the the um, the art supplies and a little bit about them. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it gives you a summary of what you're gonna uh, what you you are getting that month. Um, 
basics on generally how to, what we recommend on using them with. Okay. Um, and how to kind of like blend them together, it gives you some space so that way you can uh, work together. And the reason why we do a limited palette from four to six individual art supplies is because out of, you could see, I guess you could say out of the uh, professional experience uh, from me and also from other artists, when you're given a whole library of just infinite art supplies, you still have this creative block. You're just like, oh, I could do anything. And then you're like, I could do anything. Yeah. <laughs> it's like going into, and there's actually psychology behind that. The ice cream cone, uh, when they first made ice cream, it was only two flavors, chocolate and vanilla. Yeah. So you'd go in and you'd say, I want chocolate or vanilla. Yeah. Now you go into 31 flavors <laughs> and you're like, can I have, can I try this one? 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 Because you're super indecisive. You don't know what to do. Yeah. Same, same kind of concept when it comes down to that. Yeah. And we, we try to mix between like mid-level to really high quality art supplies. So mid-level being like, let's say Arteza or in home as you, or one of them is here. Um, and then going all the way to Copic or uh, Prismacolor, um, going to, uh, what is it called, uh, Micron Sakura of America. And we tried to give everyone a very round experience. That way they're like, oh yeah, I did try that one. Oh yeah, I did try this art supply. And that way, since you're limited to these um, palettes. These tools, right. Yeah. Uh, you can create something out of it. That's why we also send it to many different artists, like professional artists. To make sure, like, hey, are you, are you able to create something out of this? And most right. of the time, um, they do. Like, they create outstanding things. And whenever they don't, we learn from it. We're like, okay, we we learn. We make sure not to use it in the next package, or we make sure to not include um, certain mediums together. So, so before you send this out, you're sending this combo, this pen combo, to artists, professional artists, and you're you're giving them the activity. Yeah. You're telling them, hey, create it. If you guys can do it. Yeah, ship it. that's awesome. I really like that concept because it is true, especially if you are going through one of those creative slumps. You don't want a box with a thousand different markers. Yeah, you're just like, fuck. What do I do now? Like I'm still there. Yeah, yeah. exactly. This is awesome. This is, I really like the psychology behind it too. Thank you. That, that kind of goes goes hand in hand with the slump thing, you know. Yeah. So uh, your 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 markers and your tools, uh, your art supplies, they come nicely wrapped here. We're not gonna mess up on this is uh, <laughs> wrapping here. So we got your sketch me book, mm -hmm. right? And this one is a simple um, sketch me pad, uh, basically like a little sketchbook. And the reason why we include a sketch me pad every single month is that a lot of artists will tend to fear filling up sketchbooks. They'll get like a really nice sketchbook and they'll just, they don't wanna touch it. They'll just add it to their collection of sketchbooks. Um, wow. But, yeah. <laughs> Any artists out there? Uh, do, you, do you guys go through that? Because I actually know a lot of artists. Yeah. And they have sketchbooks. Yeah. But I didn't know that that's something that they think about. Like, I don't want to fill it up. Yeah, because it, it, sometimes it's just really nice and yeah. you don't want to ruin it with uh, bad drawings. With the or, doodles and yeah. stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I get you. I get you. So, to uh, eliminate the fear, because the whole point of this box is to get you into drawing, we include these simple sketch me pads. And he even says in the statement right here that it's to help you get rid of that fear. And what's pretty cool is that since this is just a simple flip little book, um, you can throw it away, you could hide it, you could destroy it, whatever you want. And you that way, if you like something that you made inside this booklet, you could transfer it over to your sketchbook. Right. But if you make something that you don't like, you would be like, oh, no, prob no problem. It's, it's just a, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're going to get a new one next month. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is awesome. So artists, don't be scared to fill this bad boy up. There's a lot of pages in here too, so. Yeah. <laughs> Doodle away. Sketch me. I, I miss this card. Oh, it's a release of liability. Okay. So if somebody eats the art supplies, you know, we're, <laughs> we're not supposed to eat art supplies. <laughs> you have to put this now because people are eating Tide Pods. <laughs> yeah. What's wrong with you guys? What's wrong with you guys? <laughs> Don't yeah. eat the pens. <laughs> it's not our fault. Exactly so. <laughs> awesome. So you got this book here, a creativity booklet, and this is your May edition. So every month, this is what for sure changes too, right? Your oh yeah. Oh, the contents, the booklets, just 
I've had somebody go, how do you not, how don't, uh, how do you not, not run, run out, out of content? <laughs> yeah. There we go. And, um, it's cause you're an artist <laughs> <laughs> creating. Basically we, we, uh, we generate a whole lot of ideas and, um, thankfully I have a outstanding artist and her name is, uh, Maite Drive Dross. Um, let's get her name right. My, <laughs> Maite. So um, Maite Dross. Yeah. M A Y T E and then Dross. Um, she does the cover uh, booklet, or she's she actually right there. Okay. Maitha Draws. <laughs> Maitha Draws, she's right here. You guys want to follow her? Is that her tag? Yeah, she yeah. is uh, outstanding. I love At her. Maitha Draws. Or oh, Maitha Draws. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So she helps you with your artwork on this, on this booklet. Yeah. So I'm looking at it right now. We, we have an intro here. And uh, you have a nice little introduction, and then you have the table of contents. So, on your creativity booklet, mm -hmm. uh, you have a table of contents breakdown. You have a story prompt, brainstorming, daily prompts, teach me, featured artists, challenges, self development. Yeah. You know, tell me a little bit. That's freaking <laughs> like this is insane. I feel like I could draw some <laughs> shit right now if I just read this book. <laughs> so. Um, so like at the beginning, we're, you're given a story prompt and the story prompt is specifically designed to help you visualize that story of the theme story of each month. Um, and that way, and at the end of the story prompt, you're also challenged to draw something from the story or kind of inspired from uh, by the story. Okay. Um, so you read a story. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's easy. Okay, and this is one of the stories. Yeah, that's uh, one of the stories. Okay. I'm not gonna. No, don't worry. It's a long <laughs> story. <laughs> yeah, I was like, it's super long, and I'm gonna stumble through a lot of these damn words. Yeah, because it's a couple camera. pages. So. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but this is this is some of the artwork that. Uh... Maite. <laughs> Maite. This is some of the art artwork that Maite is drawing, um, and this is nice. So this this story is called Little Sprout, right? Yeah. Pretty long. You got some more artwork here. This is really nice artwork, though. Yeah. I like the print. <laughs> Who, who's doing your print? Everything's in house. Everything's in house. Cutting, assembling, uh, designing. The whole package. Everything. The only thing this that we don't professionally. <laughs> like, this looks really professional. The only That's thing insane. we don't print is the box itself. Okay. So Eventually, I want to get to that though. But <laughs> yeah. Okay. So after the story, we just passed a couple pages on the story. You have your story prompt objective, and this is where. It gives would, you some you space create, to yeah to create kind of ideas, jot down. It's yeah. pretty awesome. So, where does the the inspiration or or this kind of, you know, this kind of concept? Where does this come from? Who? I mean, this creative creativity book that seems very, 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 very well thought out of, <laughs> and very well structured. Um, you know, from the way you, you you structured. So, where does this where does this kind of idea come from? Where are you getting this inspiration from? So it's a mixture of um, different types of uh, drawing magazines, at least for, yeah, uh, I'll start off where there. A certain drawing magazines helped to spark that inspiration. Okay. Uh, I wanted to give artists um, a creativity booklet that you could specifically draw inside. That way um, you're going with that creative flow. Right, right. So I remember looking at different types of magazines. I was looking at how they were structured, how they organized different tutorials, how they uh, interviewed artists and all that different stuff. Um, when I first started Inspire Me Create, the booklets were not like this. Um, it's a lot of learning, a lot of gun. <laughs> talk, talk to me and kind of describe for the audience watching live, listening on iTunes and watching on YouTube, what, describe to us, what did that first box look like? Oh my god. I <laughs> You're like looking at <laughs> the first box. So the first concept of the box, I remember it was just a plain white box. Um it was I think it was actually that tan or gray box and I just painted over it just to get the idea. And it came with a single color. You painted over each box? Oh no, well this was just uh oh, okay. the concept was like, for the box. Susan, so that has your first couple boxes. <laughs> that some... was a thought to be honest. Like, to <laughs> that'd, that'd, be, them and... that'd be pretty cool. But um, yeah, so the first concept was just a plain white box. It in involved um, simple tutorials, and that was before I even launched, right? So they were, everything was very uh, smaller, a lot, a lot of things were missing. The creativity prompt, uh, 
prompt or the 32 date prompt um, would actually afford, uh, fold out like an accordion style type of thing. So that was the This is the 32 day. Yeah, that's the 32. We're actually 31 now because that, that's the new update. <laughs> so what is this? Kind of break this down for me. I'm looking at it right now. There's day one through 31. And so in the middle of the section, a lot of artists, I guess you could say that's the eye catching thing about this crate. Uh, first glance i want to read the whole book like while you guys are just watching live i'm just super quiet just, just read the whole book. so um it's it's my form of a prompt generator i guess you could say uh on, online you'll find a lot of drawing generators but they tend to be a lot of pretty outdated or it's sometimes people don't really collect them and do them so well okay um this one it's new every single month um and it's just me well just me really just coming up with different types of well, ideas. Yeah, yeah different ideas. Nice so that you got let's, one. <laughs> yeah, that's like, I'm reading some of these. Okay, so let's start with day one. A young woman repairing a broken down air conditioner. Pretty cool. <laughs> Surprise birthday party thrown for a college student. A glowing mystical tablet found in the ruins of ancient castle. What could these strange symbols mean? Dang. <laughs> yeah, so it charged up bulb. These are so so these all are ideas and just kind of challenges, just kind of daily yeah, daily so activities for for people to do. Yeah, so after you read those, are you able to picture something? Yeah. So I that, pictured every single one. <laughs> and that's where the challenge is is like, okay, you pictured something, now what did you picture and draw it? Um, and there's 31 days of it. Is that is that maybe one of the biggest challenges? for people or artists is putting that what's in that mental down on paper and actually getting that full detail out there right it's it's amazing because as artists we have the ability to just create anything that we want and somehow the common question is what should I draw today you know <laughs> so it's and the, this is just kind of a simple spark a simple nudge to help you go toward it or kind of jump into it yeah so again, to kind of you know fill you guys in on, on what this box is for, and this is sick. I actually remember this from art class. Like, <laughs> they show you how to kind of draw uh, and kind of give you tips. So this is you know this box here, Inspire Me Create. This is for artists of you know a wide variety of a, a wide variety of ranges of ages from 11 all the way up to 30. Yeah, There's some older than that. Yeah. You know, all the way up. <laughs> Um, but you know, if you're an artist, if you're in a slump, if you don't know how or what to draw, or you need some help getting creative, you know, this box is definitely for you. Monthly subscription, but every single month you're gonna get something new, some new tools, a uh, sketch me pad, and a new creativity booklet that kind of helps you day by day, right? I didn't even think it was gonna be this detailed. <laughs> yeah. It's like a full month kind of, of activities to help you get back onto that. Uh, that kind of creative path, right? Get those creative juices flowing. Um, so, what else is on this book aside from that? Kind of, <laughs> I mean, you got you got everything. You got tutorials. You got um, talk to me about the featured artists. So page. each each month, I get to meet several outstanding artists every. Month. Are they local or from everywhere else? All over. All over. Okay, cool. <laughs> Do you work with any local artists? Any local artists that you think we should kind of keep our eye on? I'm open to uh, do interviews with local artists. Okay. Um, I try to look for some, um, while speaking with them, I look at their artwork and then I also look at their overall message. Um, try to see if it aligns with ours to uh, try to help people inspire, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Because I don't want to just do something that's completely hateful or, you know, um, right, right. or something that's just a little strange. Uh, I want to do something that where people could look at it and they're like, oh, I want to draw like them. Right. And maybe become even more inspired and then go off, follow them or draw like them and stuff like that. That's awesome. So, so, so May's featured artist, around me with her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she is in, oh man, I forgot where exactly. It's uh, Yislet Dart. <laughs> Yislet Dart? Or, uh, yeah, something like that. <laughs> Yislet Dart. We're butchering her name, but. Sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> some creative work though. Oh yeah, she. So where is she from, do you? Ah oh, man, it's I. I can't remember if it's in Moscow or. I gotta look again. I gotta see. Cool. So you're getting these artists every single month, and they're kind of just drawing. This is specifically for Inspire Me Crate. 
Yeah, every, yeah. It's, everything's uh, individual or, yeah, specifically for Inspire Me Create. So I reach out to these artists and thankfully now that we've grown, because I remember I used to reach out to artists when we were barely beginning and no one would write me. <laughs> really? So has your online presence and has your brand kind of grown and have artists like these been reaching out to you instead now? Yeah, it's, it's pretty funny because sometimes I'll have a, a lot of people go, hey, can you feature me? Hey, can you feature me? And sometimes there will be like uh, younger um, and kids, like let's say like nine or so, and then they ha they're starting out their page. And uh, I'll look at their work. I mean, I'm, it's no age restriction to as far as like who gets featured. Art, art is yeah. art, you know? Art is art, it has no... Yeah, so... There's young, there's really young artists that are freaking badass. Like, oh, yeah. And you'll see them online and it's just insane. Yeah, it's it's awesome to be able to uh, write somebody and they're like, oh, I've heard of you, or oh, I I was waiting for you to write me, you know, so my friend did the, uh, like, you contacted my friend. and Right. Um, and how how is that how is that artist community is it a pretty tight knit group is is there a lot of I mean is is there a lot of because I mean for real estate I know it's yeah you know, real estate is real estate and you just around a bunch of realtors but is that kind of how it is for artists I mean all are all artists pretty known around the artist community yeah, yeah. Cer certain ones of course um, it depends on what social media platform you go on to. Um, some kind of dominate all of them. Some of them only dominate, let's say, the comic in industry. Some of them only do dominate art tattoo industry. Right. Um, it depends, but overall, you do see a linkage in the network. Right. Um, awesome. So it, it's a pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. So I just flipped over. I'm still I'm still working on this creativity booklet. This book that's pretty freaking awesome. No lie. <laughs> like you have everything in here. I just skipped over into the self development section. So tell me a little bit about this self-development because I'm super into self-development. I know my media crew lives and breathes books and <laughs> audio books. They listen to no music. Well, one of them, <laughs> Sosa has no music taste. <laughs> Just audio book taste. But um, self-development, I mean, talk to me a little bit about self-development. Why, why would you put that into this book? For artists, right? <laughs> yeah. No, because I, I know why, but I'm oh, yeah. saying, you know, no, yeah. I really like the psychology <laughs> behind all this, you know? So, uh, being an artist is from your emotions. Um, sad, happy, excited, uh, depressed. Some artists thrive on different types of emotions, right? It Keeping control over these emotions and being, uh, basically having uh, you master the art instead of the art mastering you. Mm -hmm. It's something that is very important as an artist. Like you want to make sure that you know um, how to balance your own emotions, how to start taking the first steps on either like kind of being happier, um, being more excited, kind of living for art instead of being sunken down by kind of common day stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's it's when I write these, I I really speak from the heart with these um, are you writing yeah everything. everything I'm the one who <laughs> wow there's <laughs> a lot of writing sometimes I'll just be typing away for like 10 to 15 hours a day you know <laughs> that's awesome so so you have some self-development in here and it's for artists you know not just you're not just teaching people the art side of it you're not just teaching people about the the supplies and how to draw and the techniques yeah but you're also teaching them the mindset behind the art artistry you know so yeah it's really cool bro i freaking love this even at the end it, um... you have affirmations on here <laughs> Affir artist affirmations of the month i love my artwork and i'm grateful every day that i could create something with my glorious talents that's freaking awesome <laughs> so i mean because i do this too i have daily day, uh, affirmations i know the sosas have daily affirmations so teaching this especially to an 11 year old that orders your book in Kenya, <laughs> you know? Like that's pretty awesome. Yeah. <laughs> is, that, is that random? <laughs> oh no, it's, no. It's random, but I mean, it's true. <laughs> like that's, that's pretty cool because now I really see you, you can really have an effect on a young kid's life, especially yeah. with a book like this, you know? 11 year olds don't know what affirmations are. Yeah. <laughs> School doesn't teach them what affirmations are, so that's pretty cool. But that's yeah. awesome. And then you have the, the thank you. So so people can uh, enter contests with drawings and things like that? Yeah, uh, we have a uh, an art blog called Creative Corner. And uh, usually we'll 
we're trying to get into the habit of having a monthly thing where artists can enter their own artwork, get a chance to be shouted, uh, shouted out to thousands of other artists. Um, even on our Instagram, we did uh, we do a feature art feature <coughs> artist of the day, and we look from professionals like really big professionals all the way to very small 12 following artists you know we look at everyone <coughs> <laughs> and the the reason why Don't is worry, we edit that <laughs> we edit that cough <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> that cough's raw it's real <laughs> but the reason why we do that is um that way artists have a chance to kind of get their artwork out right you know um sometimes i remember when i first started I would try to reach out to like uh, big following pages that shout out artwork, but they were only looking for like miracle artwork. Like it was just amazing, stuff. you know, just <laughs> like you, you should know. be signed you know, <laughs> yeah. in a museum type shit. But it, with with ours, we tried to just feature everyone so that way everyone can kind of feel like a big community. That way they feel um, like, oh yeah, I remember that's my friend. Oh yeah, I have a chance to be featured. Yeah. If not, you know, I found somebody else who's been featured and I really love their artwork and, you know, stuff like that. So. <laughs> that's cool. That's really cool. I love that community, that culture that you're kind of creating. Yeah. Um, with Within your own business. That's, that's pretty awesome. Just in two years, too. Yeah, it's... And when we first launched, I think we had a thousand or something, like as far as followers. And then through the course of a year, we went up to 20,000. You so have 20,000. You guys have 20,000. <laughs> yeah. We're catching up. We're, we're making work, huh? We're, we're making strides, too. <laughs> yeah. Right, guys? Trying to get some swipe up action. Get on Sosa. Get this camera on Sosa. <laughs> Sosa, <laughs> I need 20,000 followers <laughs> by tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, by tomorrow, guys. <laughs> All right, so uh, last book, uh, we have the Warm Me Up, which we should have probably started with this one. Uh, it's however, like it, it's... Okay, you can warm up <laughs> after you're done. Um, so, so talk to me about the warm up book. You have the same thing. I freaking love your... I love it. I love how you have it. Like this looks legit as professional. Like you're printing this at a big old factory. Is, that your, is it still at your apartment or at your? Oh no, job? we moved into a house now. So okay. we, oh, uh, shit. it's a uh, all the productions all in still, basically one bedroom. But I'll maybe even ed edit some photos of us working in the in the apartment. You should. Bedroom. I think I think that that'll be really cool because I'm looking at this box and I'm telling you it looks very well put together <laughs> I, I love the presentation on it and it looks like you have a factory full of people that are helping you with this oh thank so you so <laughs> for it to be you three just like kind of working on this and, and doing this like that's pretty that's pretty awesome and I think that's what real entrepreneurs look like yeah you know? like, <laughs> like you have work like this and then it's like oh no it's just me and my girlfriend <laughs> <Same daughter. laughs> just hanging out just making bucket crates <laughs> you know? that's cool so talk to me about the warm up warm me up so it's common good habit for an artist to basically stretch out the arm muscles hand muscles just basically show me some show me some stretches <laughs> show me some <laughs> do you hear like, like, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah show me I mean like it's okay <laughs> so for a, uh, a forearm stretch you want to just basically stretch it like this and keep it for a couple seconds okay. whichever hand that you primarily draw with I mean it's good Righty. to do both but <laughs> I draw with my right <laughs> drive my, drive my and then you just do downward just for a brief downward. moment okay. just to do the upper because I mean when you're when you're drawing especially for hours that's what people are, don't understand people might be laughing at this and but when you're an artist, you're you're there for a while, right? <laughs> yeah, just shake your carpal tunnel. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> I, my mom's a my mom's a nail tech, so yeah. even though she's not drawing, she she's having her hands for in a certain way, you know, while she's while she's working. Yeah, and she's been doing it since I was born. Yeah. So for all these years, we left. You were like So she's been doing this since I was born, and um, there's been times where, and mom, if you're watching, I don't think it happens to her anymore. But before, her hand would like lock, and she'd yeah. be like, the work, and she'd be like, man, it's so very, she'd have I know to exactly. like, and I would, and I think it's because she wasn't stretching. 
And probably eating bananas for the cramps, right? Yeah, that helps a lot with cramps. Potassium? <laughs> <laughs> potassium. <laughs> and uh, also for the artist out there, um, usually with me, whenever I'm drawing digitally especially, uh, or just drawing in general or painting, uh, a lot of my cramping comes up uh, from this side of my hand. Um, if you, you want to, especially when you first start drawing, you want to build up a lot of um, hand muscles. <laughs> or finger, uh, finger, mus uh, finger muscles and you want to take a rubber band or a little um, I know them as ligas but like uh, I'm trying to think of more uh, the majority of this this network or the people listening are Hispanic okay so cool I just know they, like they know what <laughs> ligas <laughs> are <laughs> yeah, hair ties yeah hair ties there we go <laughs> hair ties or ligas <laughs> um, you just want to put it um, loose on your finger and then just basically stretch them out and it's a little hand workout well, that will do is uh, strengthen the uh, muscle within your palm, and then also the little True. tendons inside your forearm. Um, I've been doing it for a, not too too long, but like a while now, and it's helped me a whole lot. So you know what? Another exercise for that for those muscles are when I was in baseball. <laughs> so <laughs> you're waiting for something else. <laughs> I saw his face. He's like, wait, what is he gonna say? <laughs> So, and when I was in baseball in high school, um, my dad researched, he got on Google, I don't know how he did it, he did it, he got on Google, and Nolan Ryan was a famous baseball pitcher, he's one of the best, and um, Nolan Ryan, when he would train, or train his arm, what he would do is he'd get a bucket of rice, <coughs> he'd dump his, his hand yeah. inside the rice, and he would just be squeezing the rice. Huh. And all of that was helping all of these freaking muscles. Like this guy had the strongest freaking arm. Like you could see every tenant, every yeah. every every muscle. But he would do that. So I used to do that in high school a lot. And my well, just my right arm was super strong, dude. Because like, I would forget about the left. I was like, okay, I gotta go. Okay, let's go. <laughs> the left one was chill, but the right one was really strong. So that actually helped with. It's the same. Yeah. Exercise, I'm sure, but. Oh no, honestly. If you, have, if you don't have a liga and you have some rice, <laughs> you just get some rice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's cool. So, warm me up. This, this helps you stretch, right? It helps you kind of prepare. Yeah, and then primarily more of uh, hand eye coordination. So, this one comes up with primarily four different types of exercises. Um, point. Yeah, point to point. So, so like, point to point is one of them. And what is this? You're just. Hitting points, drawing, connecting dots, right? Yeah, on the next page we actually provide um, basically points uh, laid out all throughout the page. And then what you want to do is draw it in one single stroke, but you don't want to undershoot it, miss it, or uh, overshoot it. And that's where you start learning how uh, eye coordination, so you just start connecting ah, the dots basically. So you can't pass it. Can't yeah. <laughs> that looks tough. I would for sure butcher it. My first, my first shot. It takes practice. Okay. So you got some warm ups on here. Dang. Oh, and they get more intense. Yeah. So this is week three, right? Then your eyes and hands get a little bit better. And you go to week, oh, we're still on week three. Yeah. This is week three is just getting more intense. It right? gives you a lot more um, practice room. And, uh, and each warm up focuses on different uh, themes, I guess you could say. So I believe that one was... Gas pump? What was it? it tells you at the top. Um, observation technique. So this, this observation. Would be the last one. Um, it will be, as an artist, you want to kind of build up like a visual library. Um, that way you can kind of call upon when you're drawing things out of your mind. So that way you're like, oh, uh, how do I draw a car? You know, if you keep practicing and you build up that mileage, mm -hmm. you eventually learn how to draw a car, you know? <laughs> so this one, we take different items, such as like a gas pump and uh, something strange or something, um, we try to shoot for something that you're not commonly used to seeing. And then we want you to break it down and then kind of analyze it and draw exactly what you see and then keep drawing it over and over and over. And then it helps you in the long run, essentially. <laughs> I need to get me one of these. I've always wanted to learn how to draw, for real, for real. Like, I'm not lying. I, I feel like defeated every time I try and draw because yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. So this is pretty awesome. This is the box. So this is something that you would get if you were subscribed every single month, right? And how, mm -hmm. much, is, how much does the subscription run? So uh, we have 
primarily two options. Uh, one is just the workbook only. So people who only want the inspiration and the drawing activities and stuff, that's 20 bucks a month. And okay. US gets free shipping. So Nice. Um, if you want the art supplies and then have it, uh, including the tool sheet and all that stuff, um, it's 35 a month. Okay. So really excited, man. Really excited for people to uh, to hear your full story. What do you think about the, pod the podcast? It was fun. Yeah. I, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> this guy's laugh is super funny. Uh, <laughs> so uh, again, make sure you guys tune in next Wednesday. We're going to be dropping his full episode, uh, Whiskey Wednesday episode number nine on iTunes and on YouTube. And uh, for those of you that joined in live on Instagram and Facebook, uh, appreciate you guys hopping on again um, every week we're looking forward to bringing you guys you know people here in El Paso either entrepreneurs influencers people that are making a big uh, difference a big splash here in the city that we might not know about um, Andres I, I definitely think you and what you guys have going over here at Aspire Me Create you guys have something special and I'm really excited for people to, to learn a little bit about what we have going on in the city. Yeah. I don't think anybody anybody knew that this is this is freaking insane. You're impacting a lot of people outside of the country and it's it's pretty cool what you have going on man. So awesome. really appreciate you stopping by. <laughs> appreciate <laughs> really appreciate you stopping by and um I look forward to everybody hearing your story, man. Yeah, definitely. The same here. Thank you for having me. <laughs> yeah, for sure, man. Appreciate you guys stopping by and I'll see you guys next time.